In this video, I built a stand for a mag drill so you can drill small parts. Yeah, so I have these pieces of quarter inch plate and that's what I'm going to make most of it out of. So if I just put the mag drill on it like that and draw a hole in it, you could only uh, you only have about three quarters of an inch distance here, so you can't get stuff very thick in here. And a lot of times I like to drill like two inch square tube. So what I need to do is raise the whole thing up. And that's what the second piece of quarter inch plate is going to be used for. And this piece is seven and a half by 11 and that's what I'm going to use that just the way it is. I'm just going to grind the corners round and that's it. And this piece I'm going to shorten it a little bit. Yeah, so both pieces are cut out and all ground. This piece is four and a half by seven. So then this piece is going to be mounted something like that. I'll have to make some pieces to go in there to weld on. The largest annular uh, cutter I have is inch and a half, so I'm going to make the hole in this piece a little bit bigger than an inch and a half. So to be able to drill a two inch square tube with this, this needs to be spaced up one inch. So that make with the quarter inch plate on top of that, it'll be one and a quarter inches. And then this other annular cutter that's inch and a half is a little bit shorter, but it'll still make it all the way through the metal. Yeah, so what I'm doing now is cutting out these pieces that are going to go right here. Then this mag drill just sits down in those pieces. And there will be a piece on the back side too. So then when I weld these two pieces on, I space this out a sixteenth of an inch on each side. So there's a little bit of extra room. Yeah, so I got the piece done that the drill actually sits into. And these are just pieces of three quarter inch uh, flat bar. That's uh, 3 16 thick. The piece on the end is 8 inch thick. That's all I had left. And when I welded this, I put a C clamp on here on two places so that it wouldn't warp out. So now I need to make the actual spacers that are going to set this up above this other piece. Yeah, so it fits in here where there's about an eighth of an inch clearance. Yeah, and this is a piece of one inch flat bar that's 3 16 thick. This is what I'm going to use to raise this piece up. And I'm going to cut pieces out and weld to the bottom. Yes, yeah, so I just welded these pieces on here. And this is space it up. And the reason I didn't go all the way to the end is so you can get a bigger piece of metal in there if you need to drill out uh, farther. Yeah, so now I'm ready to actually weld these two pieces together. Yeah, I got it tack welded on there, so now I'm going to finish welding this. Yeah, and how I'm going to mark where the hole needs to be is I put these two shims in here. They're 16 gauge. And so the uh, drill is actually perfectly in the center right now. And then I'm going to drill into it with a smaller bit, just a little bit. And then I can see exactly where it needs to be. Yeah, and here's what it looks like after I just drilled into it a little bit. Now I can easily center punch that and perfectly in the center. And I do also have this drill chuck where I could have drilled a quarter inch hole in it. But it's kind of a hassle in this drill to put this on. You have to take all this other stuff off of here. And this comes off and you have to take this bracket off. So I, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, so what's happened is this has gotten warped just a tiny little bit. So what I need to do is heat this up in here and bend this down just a little bit, which I can straighten that easy. And I got this clamped to a piece of 5 8 inch uh, plate. And I, I've also put a straight edge across it, so it's definitely warped. Yeah, so I was able to straighten this real easy. So now I'm going to stick that in the drill press and drill that hole through there. 
And all I have is a one and three quarter inch uh, hole saw, but that'll work. And I'm gonna... Yeah, now when you put a straight edge across it, it's almost perfect. Yeah, one thing I've noticed about this mag drill is everything's off just a little bit. It's like it leans kind of to one side, just slightly. Milwaukee does make a new mag drill that's uh, easier to put the regular drill chuck on, where you don't have to take all this stuff off. So what, ha I got the drill, a uh, hole drilled in here. What needs to happen now is this needs to be raised up. Because how I'm going to do it is I'm just going to clamp the parts to it with these type of vice grips. Some people are making stuff like this with clamps already on it, welded to it. I'm not going to do that. So what I was able to do is grind a tiny little bit off right here. I took the motor out and did that on both sides. Now the motor sits down in there better and it's, it's almost straight. It's off just a tiny little bit right now. Okay, so this is with a piece of three inch square tube sitting under it. And it'll, it'll work perfect to put these kind of vice grips on it to hold stuff down. So I'm gonna have to raise it up three inches. Yeah, so this is what I've come up with to make it sit three inches off the ground or off the table. I had a, this is all stuff that I just had. It's two inch square tube with some one inch square tube that's gonna be welded to the bottom. That way I don't actually have to go out and buy anything. <laughs> yeah, so I got this all welded together. So now what I need to do is make some gussets to go in, under here. And then they'll go in close to the hole so that you have room out on the outside to clamp that. Yeah, and I got the gussets all welded in there. Yeah, see, it works pretty good. Yeah, so all I have left to do to do it now is just paint it. And I like to use this uh, semi-flat black from uh, O'Reilly's, and it works good. So this is what it looks like when it's painted. Yeah, I took and made a 16th inch uh, spacer that goes in here. And even with that spacer in there, when you turn the magnet on, it holds just as strong because the smaller annular cutters are a little bit longer and they don't quite clear when you do it with a two inch uh, square tube in there. And I had to make it this distance because with the uh, larger annular cutters, it just barely goes down past the... <laughs> It only goes down maybe about an eighth of an inch past where it's going to cut at. <laughs> 